Alrighty, welcome back. We just moved up the Royal Respect. We moved up Joeing's uh, Nissan 300. Um, basically what we're doing is we're moving cars today. It's been a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia. It's Christmas Eve and uh, that's what we're doing. We're moving up some cars. Uh, we've, have, we've got a few cars in the building now. Uh, as you can see, we've got the Ozenbeel over here. We've got the truck and the race car in here. Uh, the 62 Ford and, and the 35 Plymouth four-door car. I mean truck. <laughs> uh, we're, what we're going to do now is we're going to take you down to our other building. Uh, we're going to try to start uh, a car or two. Um, most of the cars down there haven't been started in two, three, two to three years. So we're basically that's what we're doing. We're going to go down and try to start one and bring another one up. The Royal Respect started up really nice because Harley took it to the prom and uh, it worked then. So it basically it had been started and gone over. Um, but right now we're going to run down and try to get another one. It's not going to take long to put a bunch of cars in a building and fill it up, that's for sure. Um, from the cars that we have or that I've built over the time that Jolene, me and Jolene have done. But we're going to take you down with us and we're going to grab another one. So let's take a ride down. It's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia. You would not think it was Christmas Eve, but it is. And I'm wishing everybody a Merry Christmas right now. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cruise down the road drive and see if we can't get one of the cars or trucks started so we can bring it up. Let's just go in the building for a second. I got the valve pan covers on Jolene's car. I want to show you that. I think it looks awesome. Or I think it does. Basically Jolene thinks it does. That, so that's all that really matters, isn't it baby? Jolene thinks it does. Jolene looks amazing today. Oh I forgot to tell you. I'm bad Chad and Queen Jolene's on the camera. And we are, oh, I didn't plug it in. And we are on air. So we're kind of just running around today, uh, doing a thing because it's a beautiful day. Let's go and just show the, the valve pan covers are on uh, the engine. I think it looks amazing. Come over this way, honey, sweetheart. I think it looks amazing just with the headers on and stuff. More, more eye candy on this side. Uh, if you look at a Bugatti engine, you probably... Uh, you'd be hard pressed to know um, if you opened the hood up on it and you didn't know. Once we get the firewall engine turned with the valve pan, with I say valve pan covers, a lot of people are going on about that. Basically, we call them valve pan covers on a 305 or 350. That's what covers the valves. Um, this on here, probably called cam covers. <laughs> That's what's underneath them is a cam. So let's take a ride down the road and uh, see if we can't get. I'm hoping to get the dump truck going. The dump truck has not been started for at least three years and uh, we're going to try to get it rocking and rolling and drive it up and get it in the build and then that will just be one more that we have moved. Um, it's perfect weather for it. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure. So we're just going to go down. I got the battery charger put on it to charge the battery up on it. We have a battery pack. Uh, the battery pack is three quarter I guess I'm hoping that it'll help uh, the truck is electronic ignition so I'm hoping that we'll have fire uh, the ones with points are they're a bugger sometimes I'm gonna put Fina in the house and then we're gonna track on down are we gonna pause it until we get there we'll just drive down alrighty we're down in the in the building that we've been storing the cars uh, we're right here now with the with the dump truck and um, I'm going to try to get it going. First time in a long time that we've been actually doing anything with any of these vehicles. This car has, truck has sat here for a long time. Uh, you'll have to be patient with me because I really don't know. Ah. I'm not sure if that shuts it or what that does. Okay. I guess we're shut. And open up the other side. No, it closes it.
Alrighty. I'm gonna put that <laughs> it's not a truck for I'm not scratching it, that's for sure. This has got a 250, I think it's 250 or 292 six cylinder. Um, if you want to give me that gas, that'd be great. Joanne's going to give me some gas. Um, this was given to us by a guy named Todd. It was an amazing gesture at the time that we were doing this. I'm going to pull that off because. Why not? Dump some gas in her, I guess. It's got a, I'm not sure if it's a 250 or a 292, but of it's a straight six cylinder. Uh, it has a four speed in it. And it's been a long time since I've been in it, so bear with me. We did put the battery charger on because the battery was dead in it. Just all I did is turn the key on it to find out. I'm going to jump up in here. I'm going to hook this charger on it. Let's see if I can't get it to turn over. Hopefully we can get a kick out of her. This thing's got a light on it, has it not? Let's turn the light on. Turn the light on. Here we go. Alrighty. Let's turn this on. Oh, I can tell it's got a battery. That's a good sign. And jump over the other side here. I'm gonna see. See some of these I don't even remember how they start, but this one I think just has a turn key. Wow. I knew I said I knew that would start. Gonna have to put some gas in that. Crazy! That made me smile. And the only reason because um, a lot of the ones with the, the points are not friendly. I remember when uh, we got this engine from Todd. Um, we did not do much to it. And uh, we dumped some gas in it, and bang, it took off just like that. And I'm hoping that we can get it home today. Uh, right now, in, I don't know, I guess probably everywhere, in Nova Scotia, at 5 o'clock, 4.30, it's, it's dark, like it's over. Like, so we're basically running a little bit during the day, and then if we can get something done, we go for it, and if we, when it gets dark, it's over. Could have used the other door, I suppose. <laughs> um, this, yeah. Hopefully, we can get her going. Wow! I have to do the gas thing probably a couple times. All right. We're not, we got no boost. What happened there now? Let's do some more gas. And I'll have to put the breather back on and that sort of stuff, but we'll get it running. 
first. Trying not to scratch anything. Looks like it wants to scratch that headlight every time the hood comes up. This uh, dump truck was a four door 34 or 35 Oldsmobile. So this was a four door car, or four door car, and we turned it into a dump truck. There. Knock that off. That's fine. Come on. Come on. Let's get the... I'm going to put some gas in again. There's no sense me trying to go for it again. No gas in it. She'll suck it up after a bit. I'm hoping. Not sure if it needs gas. Haven't been there for a while, so I'm hoping we get enough gas in it to get it home. Come on now. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Not picking up any boost streak right now. Come on. Put a little more gas in her, I suppose. We got some gas right over. Not sure if we even got any in the tank. Jeez, I got much gas. Sounds to me like it had a sucking lot of air there, it was. I'm gonna try that. Any gas in that. A piece of wood or something. Hmm. Don't want that dirty piece of wood, that's for sure. Blade. See what happens. Dry. <laughs> Dry as fart. <laughs> well, that means I gotta go get gas. So, uh, what I'm gonna say is, let's pause it. Go get some gas. And come on back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw that thing on a, leave it on charge. We're gonna pause, we're gonna go get some gas, put some gas in the bad boy, and uh, then we'll get her going. But we know it's gonna start, that's for sure. Now we're just on a timeline. And that, that's the dark. I'm going to pour this in that jug. That started up nice, didn't it? Makes some difference the, the, from the electronic to the points.
I'm gonna put some gas in the carburetor. It's been a minute or two since we played with. Thank you. Get you past that again, please. Thank you. It's been a minute or two, isn't it? Since we've done this. Trying to do my best not tear anything up. Trying to do my best. Now, I gotta put that battery booster pack back on. Oh, that's dead. Let's see what happens, see if it'll turn it over. Nope. Come on. Nope. Doesn't want to start it. Alrighty. You can't see that we did already, but. Worst things have happened. Ah. Is the battery charger charging, baby? It's hooked up, is it? Or that new one, I guess. The bigger one. Is that hooked up? All right, I'm going to get that other charger. I'll break back. Just take a walk around, take a look, I guess. I'm not sure. I'll break back. Every one of these cars are going to have to be boosted, dealt with. It's quite a time. Hoping that this is charged. Open. It's got a little longer cable on it. I'm not sure if that's going to do a whole lot for us. But. I had 
gotta turn the bad boy on. Just like that, I suppose. I'm gonna get in here. Use this other one for a light. Not. Get off. Battery. The battery cable wasn't even on tight. No wonder. <laughs> the battery cable fell right off. So it might even work. Get a light bulb going on here. The ground wire fell right off the... No damn wonder. Wow. Damn wonder. That's why it wasn't turning over. Ground cable ground cable isn't even tight. aggravating let's try this bad boy see if we can't get anything out of it even if we can even reach it there didn't it what happened I wonder that mean we're on huh we got more cables running that thing and cables got cables no ground stop it All right, I have to go get a half inch wrench. And you can see why uh, we want um, the building close by. Um, every time we have to do something or want to do something, we have to run for it. So basically, I'm going to run for half inch wrench. Put some gas in her. I'll pick that up this time. <laughs> Give me some gas, it says. Give me some gas. I got a pop 
off a bunch of stuff. Just want to get it idled up so it will run on its own. Wow. Engine sounds good. It's funny how good it runs when it got gas in it. Awesome. What I'm going to do is run. Good. Undo this. That don't die. It's got some got a half inch wrench in there. I'm gonna open up the door back there. We're gonna try to back this bad boy out. I put the breather on it. Why don't I just put that in the truck? I just put that in the truck. We'll open the door up. That thing's beeping like crazy. I wonder what that thing going on about. I don't even know if I remember how to get that thing in reverse. We'll have to get it out and then we'll have to shut it down or whatever. I'm not sure what's going to go on. We'll get it out though. See if I can get it in reverse. I know that sounds foolish, but it is what it is. Guide me back, are you?
that thing. Nope. What the? Wow. Put down the hood. Hard not been a long time since seen that bad boy. Um, I'll shut the door down. Then we're gonna try to get out of here. We'll try to make it up to the garage before dark. <laughs> that stuff is all unplugged. Does it all unplug that stuff? Seems to be running good. What's that, sweetheart? Didn't hear you? That's fine. All right, we're just gonna leave that for now. We can come back and get it later. Let's let's do let's let's get out of here and do our thing, and then we'll come back. All right, we're gonna shut the doors down. Try to drive it up as far as the house, and uh, call it mission accomplished. Uh, that charging system over there damn near drew me crazy on the way up listen she's bubbling me almost overheated be quiet be quiet can you hear it didn't overheat though. Huh? No, it needs water is what it needs. We'll just leave it be for now. End up getting hurt messing with that. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that thing's got to be shut off. I'm going to shut that off. She's some dirty, isn't it? Wow. Yes. 
Yeah, that was a drive and a half. Wasn't, um, it's almost got the, like the, it's got a lot of looks of the Plymouth, has it not? If you want to take a look, we'll just walk around this for a second. Uh, it was a little stressful driving it back. It's been a while. It's been three years since it's been moved. Um, I didn't actually know exactly the gear set up in it. I kind of forgot. But you can tell that the box of this dump truck, um, this is two and a half inch, or two, probably two and a half inch exhaust pipe run and bent. And you know how we bent it, banging it on the ground. And it's just lined in exhaust to give it that round look sheet of 16 gauge or 14 gauge we made for the size just made patterns out of cardboard welded it on uh, the lift on it i'm thinking that it was a lift for a camper um, one of those jacks that you go to say if you went to princess auto and you had that wind up jack that lifted up your camper that was just put in there on an angle with some chains and some sprockets coming out to the other side so if you can picture it that you can buy them when you build a trailer there's these those things that lift up your trailer and what you call what we call them right at the present moment um, trailer lifts I guess and it's hooked on a chain down there and on a axle and it's chained and it's got sprockets on it which lifts it uh, these are trailer fenders um, that we welded a peak on in the center to kind of give it that look of the dump truck. Uh, the truck itself was a car. Uh, we took the back part of the window and made it a king cab. Uh, the guy we built it for was a big dude at the time and uh, we made the king cab. So this would be the back window of the four-door car. This is a four-door car. Um, and then we made all the rest, all the cab corners and all that stuff. I think I did the sills exactly the same way as we did the sills on the 35 Plymouth. If you want to come take a look at the floor in this, um, in, on these 35 uh, Ozenbeels, a lot there was a lot of wood in this truck, so the, a lot of the floor and all that stuff, sills and stuff, were made out of wood. So you can see the floor, we did it in square tubing. Instead of making wood panels, we made metal panels and bent a 90 and fit them down inside each piece. It really turned out quite it turned out really nice. I kind of forget how nice it did turn out. You can see that's a panel right there that's put down inside that square stock. Panel put down inside, a panel put inside, another panel put inside. Everything was bead rolled so it looked nice. The door skin was bead rolled and put a door skin in it. Um, the truck, the car was in pretty good shape. Um, we used the original car frame. Uh, this is the car frame. That's the original car frame with, with the, the rear end hooked to the drive shaft. You can see it. And then to make it a, a tandem, what we did is we used, um, they're called, what are they called? Uh, torsion bar trailer axles. So it doesn't really have an axle, but it has a torsion bar as the axle. So it's kind of, um, it's, a, it's kind of a fake wheel. I guess it's just a torsion bar. It would allow for a lot of weight to go on the back of it. Um, this would be your drive wheel, but that would be for weight. We use the original wheels because they just look so nice. The, the bottle cap wheels again. Um, we didn't have any hubcaps at the time, so we did not put any on it. They're a 30 or 31 inch uh, truck tire. And I can remember when we showed the truck, we were in a, we were at Lori Layton's uh, salvage yard and I cut the wheel and it grabbed the fender brace on one side and it and it ripped that fender, it kind of bent that fender there a little bit. I shouldn't have to tell you what we made the bumper out of. You can get, probably guess what the bumper's made of. Um, yeah, I wanted a nice square looking bumper up front to make it look good. Uh, we've got a, I think this is off a of Nash. Um, this is off a of Nash, which made it look good. We've got the the ladies off of Gene Winfield. Um, he was here actually on this build. He came in here and talked to us and we kind of shot shit for a little while. Uh, told him we had to have the truck done in a couple days. He said, I better get out of here. And uh, we really had to hustle to get it done. Everybody really worked really hard to get it done. Um, the naked ladies we got from Gene seemed appropriate. But the truck was actually a car and uh, it turned out 
in my opinion, fantastic. It's got a six-cylinder uh, Chev engine in it. It was given to us by a guy named Todd in Digby, or yeah, it was Digby Way, was it not? Liverpool Way. Um, yeah, it really worked out nice. You can see how close the, the tires are on this truck. Um, it's an awful big tire for this, for that car, I guess you call it, or truck car, whatever it is. I even made the seat in it. I have a friend in California. His name is Radar. I don't know if his real name is Radar or not. Jimmy Radar. Um, he had a seat in a truck, a uh, 60 some Chev. And I looked at it and I thought, man, that's cool. But when it come time, when we did the, the TV deal and we made this truck, um, I, I stole the idea that he had. I'm not sure if it's exactly like he had it. I'm not sure, but I stole that idea to make that seat. And that seat's just flat, flat metal with pieces of two by four ripped out of a out of a pallet and I stained it and bolted it all together and uh, that's the way she looks and that's where she is but uh, it was a it was a fun build uh, very um, time consuming for the 35 days I think yeah we had everything had that time limit on it again uh, Jolene got hassled over that time limit but it was the truth. <laughs> Jolene was only telling the truth. We were stressed out over the time limit. So this is one of the builds. I'm not sure which one it is, uh, but it was a four-door car. We turned it into a dump truck. All right, everybody. Thanks for following along there. This was kind of a rough situation trying to get that started and get it up here. Come to find out the battery wasn't tight. The booster was not charged up good. Um, the gat had had no gas in it. Uh, we had to go get gas. Uh, yeah, it's quite a bit to it, getting these vehicles moved around, and every one of them are going to be like that. Uh, that truck has not been started in three years. Three years? More than that. Probably more than that, um, but it started right up. Um, very, very happy with it. That truck was painted in the shop, in that little paint room. We painted every piece in there. We built every piece there, um, and there she is. Thanks, everybody, for following along. Thanks for coming back. Uh, we will see you tomorrow. Be there or be square.